the day's already going, you're running late, the kids are screaming, you haven't had breakfast, and the tendency is to drive through McDonald's and get a sodium-laden Egg McMuffin. But wait, I've got a solution for you that's quick, easy, and healthy. Hey everybody, welcome to Around the House with Scott, where I give you tips, tricks, and hacks for living better every day inside, outside, and around the house. And today, we're going to talk about how your body is going to live better because I'm going to give you a solution that's about six minutes long to skip the fast food line in the morning and create my version of the Scott McMuffin. Before we get started, I want to welcome my trusty assistant, Philip, today. I had one of my figure skating accidents, so my right hand's a little bit out of use, but no worries. So let's start with what my favorite ingredients are. You probably have variations around your house. I start with the bread. It's not an English muffin like McDonald's, but I love the sprouted grain breads. This is Ezekiel brand. They're full of fiber and they've got a nutty, crunchy flavor once toasted up. I now prefer pasture raised eggs, even better than free range. The chickens have a lot more space to roam. I found too, with everyone being so much more health conscious, the stores are responding and these guys are very, very plentiful. Cheese of choice, I've just got my sharp cheddar from Trader Joe's, a little olive oil cooking spray, mustard for garnish, and our bowl to whisk everything up. So let's get started, and like I said, let's challenge myself, time me. So the first thing we wanna do is get our bread toasting. We've got that going. Philip's gonna crack our egg for us. First of all, we'll go ahead and spray the bowl. Good job, mister. Tip number one, if you're gonna do it in the microwave, you wanna break up the yolk. Again, we're just doing an egg McMuffin. It's not gonna be a fancy sunny side up egg. Fabulous. Every microwave differs in power, by the way, so you're gonna find out what works best for you in your house. Ours is a little weak, so we're gonna do it for two minutes. So we've got our toast going, that's about four minutes. The egg's gonna be two minutes and then we'll melt the cheese a little more. But while that's all happening, let's talk a little bit about our ingredients and our nutritional value comparisons. So an Egg McMuffin is gonna be 300 calories. Our version is a little bit more at 340, but our sodium count is extremely minimized. It's only 390 milligrams versus 820 whopping milligrams of sodium in an Egg McMuffin. We know fast food is sodium laden, not good at all. Saturated fat count, very similar, four and a half grams on ours, five grams on the Egg McMuffin. So fairly similar there, and that I think comes from the eggs and the cheese. Let's talk about carbohydrates. 30 grams of carbs in the Egg McMuffin, 31 grams of carbs in ours, and I think that's because of the, the bread, because each slice has about 15 grams of carbohydrates, but again, they're all healthy, healthy whole grains. Fiber, six grams of fiber in ours, three times the amount, in the chintzy McDonald's one with only two grams of fiber. And again, our cost is gonna be less. Our time is not gonna be that invasive. When you figure finding McDonald's, driving in the driveway, sitting in line, and then waiting for your meal. Plus, in these current times, who doesn't love it when it's prepared by your own hands instead of touched by somebody else? How are we doing with the egg there, Philip? We're looking good. Looks well, good, let's show the camera our egg. Looks like an Egg McMuffin egg. It's right on. So now we're gonna put our piece of cheese on top. We're gonna pop it back in there, probably for about another 15 seconds. I haven't done this in a week or so, and I can't remember if it's 15 or 30 in our microwave, but again, you're gonna to wanna to check your own microwave and see how that goes. One other tip I wanna give you is, I'm on the go with my sandwich, and I like to eat a hot sandwich, so I'll generally wrap it in a piece of tin foil, and in fact, I'll go ahead and just prepare it right on the foil when I'm ready to go. How are we looking, mister? Good. Look at that, we are ready to go. We have still a minute and 37 seconds for the toast to go. So we'll pause for a moment, but you just know we've got another minute and 37 to go. All right, we're back. Our toast is done. Let's carry on. All right. So Philip's going to get the toast out of the toaster. We've got a nice golden brown on that. Remember, too, when you go to McDonald's, I find the egg muffins are always, always underdone. They're not toasted. They're rushing to get the product out to you. We'll go ahead and prepare our toast right now. I like to put a little mustard on. That doesn't really add very many calories at all. If you want to treat yourself to a dollop of mayonnaise, whatever your spread of choice is, you can do that. We'll take care of getting this done. I'm also going to throw in a little bonus tip. I like to fry up bacon ahead of time on Sunday mornings. I always have my breakfast. 
Sunday morning we treat ourselves, but then we fry up some extra bacon. If I want to treat myself, I might throw on an extra slice of bacon or two just for a little bit of extra protein. Philip, keep going. Okay. And because we sprayed our dish, that pops right out beautifully. And away we go. We're ready to wrap it up in foil and take it, but first, I got to try it. Mm. Well, this is yummy, and I think it's way better than a fast food meal. I hope you agree with me. Let's go ahead and wrap up this episode right now, and I'm going to get on the road to work. Thanks so much for watching today. Remember, if this had value, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to my channel, and let me know what you thought about today's video. Thanks so much. I can